episode from, 28. Uh, I don't know if Kobe going to wear the 28 if he come back. I don't know, but I'm just putting it out there. Maybe Kobe put the 28 on. I don't know. Ah, who knows? Let's do man. it. We're going to be sitting somewhere bigger in episode Look, 28. Look, man, let's do it. Subletting so somebody's mansion doors Real for time. a couple weekends. It's time. it's time for that. It's time for that. They need something new and fresh, and we got the juice, man. Like I said, y'all, everybody stay tuned for the juice show. It's a blessing for me to be on the Tommy Trill show today, and I get to promote. I get to promote the juice show. It's coming. You know, it's coming. We got a lot of juice, and if you ain't afraid of juice, if you don't get no stomach ache from, from drinking too much juice, then yeah, we got the juice show. Man. Well, since he gonna take from my show, he better let me make the juice. Hey, she can make the juice. It's all kinds of juice. You know, this is like a juice bar. I'm talking. About the juice yeah, you drinking, juice, right. I'm gonna be a juicer. Exactly. I'm gonna make some good juice. Look, juice is great. Why y'all talking juice about juice? Great. I'm gonna be making juice. The only thing gonna be bigger than juice is the water show. You know, and that's it. We're gonna do the water show. It's coming soon. We're gonna be selling condom water to everybody on that thing. We get in the world whether they want to be healed or not. We're gonna do them like the blind man was done. We're gonna heal them anyway. And so that's what we are. You know, bigger than nobody. You need that about sight until he had it. So yeah, we blessing. We blessing the world right now. We got to give us the opportunity to do it. We're going to do it. Okay, y'all. So, we're going to talk about revenue records for two seconds. Because that's something that's dear and near to me. I've been trying to uh, work it out. So, my son actually came up with revenue records. We was kind of like... I had already came up with the Blue Money Billionaires. Like, years ago. And then... Um, I thought that was a good name for the crew. You know what I mean? The yeah. Blue Money Billionaires. Because he was like, Mama... What made you say blue money billionaires? I was like, I don't know because money is blue now and I want to be a billionaire. So I figured if I learn how to be in a billionaire mindset, which right, I have been right, sitting up right. there thinking and learning right. and kind of getting stuff in my right. system about. See, people don't know. Plant a seed. There's a It'll lot grow. of this head, baby. Plant a oh, seed. I done planted that It'll seed. I done grow. already stood with a million dollars. Yeah. You know what I mean? So a million ain't, yeah. you know what I'm saying? Like, it wasn't mine. Two, three. But it wasn't yeah. that big. It wasn't yeah. big enough. I could wrap my arm around it. Right. So, hey, it wasn't that big, y'all. Yeah. It's, it's Let dead. me know. It's y'all to wrap your arms around a million dollars, real talk. Right. I it's have, dead. yep. It's so, yeah. it wasn't mine. It was wrapped in bulletproof money. I mean, bulletproof some. Out there in Las Vegas. That's where I raised my kids. I was there for 10 years. I love Las Vegas. I'm coming to visit y'all. Yeah, baby, you've been in some evil spots. God got some big for you. Well, it's guess what? I made it, baby, in no, all no, no, them places. No. This is about cultivation. This Those about places cultivation. have money in there. It's like being born in the rock. The only thing being there is so, you can say you were born in the rock, man. I was born, born in the rock. The rock. Oh, Real God. talk. God. Come on, man. Imagine that. Oh, shit. The wonderful. Hey, look, all I can tell you is my father was the rock. So, yeah, that's all I can tell you, man. Yeah, these big things happen. And, uh, hey, shout out to some folks in Little Rock. There's some, there's some artists that's doing things uh, that don't ever get mentioned. They're doing huge things. Carrie Foe out of Little Rock never get mentioned. You know, by any of the, you know, the locals here, you know, over in Paris working right now. Uh, picked up by Childish Gambino. You know, we just gotta start, you know, promoting our people and let people know what they, you know, what they up to. Shout out to Mickey Mick. You know, um, got a big audition coming in up, uh, coming up with some of Al Bell's people. A lot of people ain't big on Al Bell, but Al Bell was the best black producer, you know, historically ever. You know, better better than Barry Gordy. Stacks Records. You know, Google Stacks Records. Google, you know, Al Green and the Staple Singers and Johnny Taylor and the best, you know, the best to ever do it. Maybe Staples. You know, Google, Google the best to ever do it. You know, Aretha said that. But yeah, that's 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 what we're dealing with right now. We got some stuff that's in the makings and God said it, you know, so you know, it is what it is. So I wanna give a shout out to a couple people. The first person that my son signed to Revenue Records when we was in Las Vegas, which was China Black. Um a pretty nice rapper and CJ. We signed him. Really nice rapper. Those guys had some good styles. They were in Las Vegas, Nevada. Um, we met them, you know, around 2016. Yeah, around 2016. We signed them to the label. We really didn't do very much, but they was eager to rap for us, let them see what they had. You know, we didn't have much going on then, but we had Revenue Records established already. We already had our financial documents for the company and stuff like that. Um, that's those are the first two people that my son signed, but China Black, 
I think CJ was the first. I don't know, you guys. Whichever one was the first, it don't matter. Shout out to both of those two. Because they still signed to Revenue Records. And um, they're not doing stuff real right uh, right now, probably. But I'm going to get in contact with them and see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is have people come and contact me at TommyTrill at gmail.com in order to become a part of our family. To become a Blue Bunny billionaire, we're going to create you a client intake form. We're going to promote for you. We're going to, um, whatever talent that you're doing, we're going to embellish that. We're getting ready to give you all kind of classes and training. We're getting ready to have um, uh, Blue Money Billionaire uh, camps. We're going to have Billionaire Mindset, little uh, retreats going on. We're going to have the, the artists that sign with us or to come and be with our uh, company. We're going to have individual artists. I can't reiterate that more. We're going to have artists that's um, independent, I meant to say. But they're going to just sign with us as far as signing our client intake forms. We're not getting ready to do anything more than that. We're going to have you guys as a part of our company, as a part of our group. Um, you know, have you promoted for, advertised for, we're going to, you know, get the artists, um, you know, make you bigger than what you are probably and get you paid for what you do and get you, you know, started with some shows or whatever else. Something else that I wanted to do with, um, Revenue Records is to, um, do these rap battles that I was trying to do on Sundays trying to promote. I haven't made anything for them. I haven't made any flyers or anything for them, but I did speak about it before. Rap battles. In- rap battles. We're going to yeah. challenge these kids to get it together, man. You know, they don't have any video shows out. They don't have anywhere to go to display your talent. So, yeah, we're going to try to create something. Uh, I've been in this, you know, conversation with some people. There's just really nowhere to take your talent right now. So, we're going to try to have somewhere to take your talent. And, yeah, you can really encourage them to stay in their talent and not, you know, fall off you know, into other things. And that's what's been happening. A lot of cats, even the ones in the industry, falling off to other things because those guys ain't getting no money. So we're going to try to, again, follow the suit of, you know, revenue. Getting your revenue for your talent. You know? Right. Revenue your Records. Revenue Shout, out revenue records. Shout out Revenue Chief Records. Chief Havoc came up with that name. That's that is, uh, he's a prolific rapper. He's a really good rapper. He has a lot of good things to say. We work every day. Um, this is a, star, a starting point thing. We right there on the ground floor. You guys able to see what's going on with us. We haven't even boomed up yet. You know, we just here. We just made it. You guys saw us from the beginning when we had our we little building empty. We, we had, um, before you guys saw us, before we even had a building, we was waiting on the building. So we are moving up. Right. We only have a car now for our rides. We can ready to get a van and some more stuff for our rides. We need mm, drivers. 2020, bless you. 2020. We need, uh, you know, a lot of things done. Um, I'm going to have a lot of help. With Mr. D Dub, we gonna call him Mr. DJ for the rest of the show because hey, I'll take um, it. right I now I'm it. supposed to be writing a list for you, I'll Mr. DJ, Man, for you to get I this stuff it. together for me for us. I'm not gonna it. keep saying me because it's no I and team, and this is right. a team. But right. Um, right now it's just me working in this office, and that's what I'm gonna say at this point for me <laughs> because I'm the one that's gonna be taking care of this. Okay, but for us for Revenue Records. We're talking about revenue records right now. So what I'm doing is making a list of the things that needs to be prepared, like the flyers, the um, brochures. I think it was just flyers and brochures and the um, website. I really want to get a um, 1-800 number so that we could... I don't know. It's just a lot I want to do, but we'll talk about that right. stuff. I'm going to bring pages back. Page me, man. I'm with Blue well, Money no, what Records. About, what I'm about with Blue Money Re- Page me, man. No, That's Revenue it. Records. Revenue Records. Page me, man. But no, what about if we have walkie talkies that go from boom from here to everywhere? Yeah, I do the walkie talkies. Everybody that's a Blue Money billionaire you know, get a walkie talkie. You know, get a water gun. A water gun come with it. You know what I'm saying? You can spur somebody. I'm just trying to upgrade what normal members get. Well, we're going to get some change thanks to, get, um, we're going to get that thanks to, get um, more kid members than any other membership of anything popping. That's why the Nickelodeon Awards is still the most powerful awards show because they got the kids' attention and, uh, yeah, we get the kids' attention, you know, some, some dope shit. 
I can do a little shit right now. I might have a dog on the show. I don't even mess with that. I might bring a dog on the show next week. So, we'll have a conversation with a dog next week. So, you know, we're going to get some things situated. Everywhere I go, I see a dog these days. So, I got to see how they win it right now. Mm-hmm. The dog is winning right now. I get into that another time. The dog is winning right now. So, okay. Well, um, we still talked. We talked about Revenue Records, and then we have a couple of more things I want to talk about. D Dub, I don't want to cut you off. Nah, Anything you else good, you was bro. talking about? Hey, they know they, they going to get sick of hearing me. They going to get sick of me. So yeah, it's okay. all good. Because like it's, I said, D Dub show had the most views so far. Hey, I want show has had man, the most views look, so far. Man. We only trying to talk to the people. He has told his friends about this. They have downloaded it. Look, we only trying to excite people and get them motivated. And Tommy Trio right now, she got a lot of great things going. And yeah, it's only right that people know about them and people get with her and support and join in. And that's just going to make things go for everybody. We get in line after that and we get what's coming to us. I'm just a fan of Team Ball. Shout out to the Lakers, you know. Okay, shout out to the Lakers. You know, I'm not a sports fan. Fan or anything, but I am from. But well, we trying to bring Drake West to the Lakers. We trying, we, we trying to get Drizzy complimentary tickets to the game. You know, he gonna come to LA. Oh, see, it's always, it's <laughs> always. Drizzy <laughs> Maybe Drizzy will fly a nigga from the Rock down there with him, and y'all ain't seen nobody till y'all seen D at a at a Lakers game. <laughs> I'm gonna go all the way in. Drake, oh wow! Drake didn't do nothing last year. I'm going in. They gonna have to get me out of there. They probably have me. Yeah, I'm with Kanye on though. That's all I can say. I'm going out on the court. I may go out there and duck on somebody or some crazy uh-uh. stuff. So, yeah, we doing some crazy stuff. Don't tell me you're crazy out there on the yeah, ball look, field. Man, I, I mean, that. not the ball look, field, look, but the ball what? Look, the ball N- court? Look, the NBA Celebrity All-Star Game 2021. I'll be there. Y'all quote, y'all heard it here for this history. You keep getting right with that there. I'll be there. I might be dunking on Kevin Hart or somebody, you know what I'm saying? But I get it in. And yeah, I'm going to be the mouth for the South soon. So, you know, I'm going to be there dunking on somebody. Ironically, you're you going to be dunking on Kevin Hart. Look, I didn't call that Kevin because Kevin like to show up. I keep up with what's happening. Kevin like to show up every year and get the MVP. So, that was know, before Kevin's accident. I don't think he'll be dunking this year. Well, look, man, he'll say he's the accident just so he, he can't get dunked on. Are you dunk kidding on. me? So he, so I can't dunk. he done Tracy Morgan does. So, so, so I can't dunk on him. But yeah, I'm going to dunk on somebody. Maybe <laughs> can't. You know, I dunk on Justin Timberlake or somebody. But yeah, uh-uh. you know, nice. I'm going to dunk. Then we You're go the to the studio. Wicked. Then we go to the studio in Little Rock. Whatever we do, we're going to do it in Little Rock. Shout out to Ray J. He did uh, join one of my homeboys when he came out here. I don't know why. I, I, he ain't going to play it until I got to. I'm back on air. But, yo, yeah, hey, you know, they all down here. Look, Kiss was here. Look, uh, Kevin Hart came through here before the accident. You know, maybe he got righteous when he went back. Sometimes, let me say this. When you come through Little Rock, if you're full of shit, you might have to come correct when you hit Little Rock. You know, shout out to Juicy J. He can vouch for that. But, yeah, you might have to get right. And when you go home, you might have a conscience. You know, you couldn't even do blues music or gospel music without coming to Arkansas. People didn't know this to do music. They didn't know how cultural Arkansas is when you mention music. You know, you can mention Memphis, you can mention other places, but it was all about Arkansas. You know, that's why West Memphis is in Arkansas. So when people didn't know when the merger went down, that's what we do. You know, we, we we really in this thing and we want to mention music. After Lucifer, you gotta mention Arkansas. Soon over soon over Lucifer. And Clive Davis, you got to mention Arkansas. That's what we do. That's what we do. That's how poignant we are. You know, y'all got leaders wherever y'all live. We just trying to get a conversation going. We want to speak with people. We want to talk with people. And we want your ideas. And we want your votes. And we want to, um, yeah, we want to win. Anybody trying to win right now, you know what I'm saying? I let Kobe tell him to call me. Tell him to call me. Mm-mm. All right, Kobe, give him a call. Give me a call. Give me a call. Yeah, let's put some things together. We we this close to a national win. Okay. We this close. I hope y'all listening to this podcast because if you guys are listening to this podcast, like, subscribe, share, comment. Um, come and do an interview with us. Come I would love through. to interview with you. Come through. She do a great interview, by the way, too. She make you feel comfortable. You know, let, let, you know, you can be, you know, when, when you're comfortable. You can do a good interview. I appreciate you, Tommy Chill. Oh, thank you so much. I appreciate you too, Mr. DJ. Um, Damn, I was about to know who you were talking about. I was about to say, Mr. DJ, open this piece. You feel I forgot that's me too, but yeah, I'm on one. Let's go. I said for the rest of the show. You did say that. You was going to sip that Hennessy and I was going to call you, you Mr. DJ. <laughs> it's like four of me, y'all. Y'all realize it's like four of me. 
So every now and then I be, you know, yeah, I'm a spectator sometimes. But yeah, shout out to Mr. DJ. He do that. I need to check him out. Yeah.